With beach season officially in full swing, this morning, new findings on the ocean's most feared predators. Contrary to what shark experts first believe, researchers at the University of Miami Rosenstiel School have discovered sharks are surprisingly spending more time closer to populated coastlines. While researchers did not specifically track great whites like Bruce, they did follow some of his blood brothers, great hammerheads, bull sharks, and nurse sharks. I was literally shocked to find out that not only were the three different species of sharks coming to these areas, but they're spending some considerable time there, some of them for months. The unexpected findings come after years of shark tracking off the Miami coast. We were there with Dr. Neil Hammerschlag and his team in 2020 as they tagged the city dwelling swimmers. On days with the highest boat activity, which were holidays like July 4th or during weekends, the shark's habitat use was pretty much the same as it was during weekdays or times where there was no boat activity. So it's like an interstate and uh, the sharks are just fine with it. It might be because they're just so used to it. The study also identifying potential shark hotspots, areas where sharks were attracted by sewage runoff, discarded fish carcasses, and even fish parts from the nearby Miami Seaquarium, all easy food sources for sharks. You think of humans in big cities snacking on fast food. It looks like the sharks are doing that too. We're seeing some of those nurse sharks actually get a bit fatter, uh, wider. Even bright lights above the surface are attracting the ferocious fish. Something Dr. Hammerschlag pointed out during our dive. Actually, on an airplane flying over Miami at night, everything was lit up by city lights, and it made me think about how there's really nowhere where an animal could escape the urbanization. Are those lights drawing sharks, scaring sharks away? Any impact? I think that basically the lights might attract small little bait fish, which attract bigger fish, which attract sharks that are out hunting for those fish. The research pointing to the impact even landlubbers have under the sea. Whether it's through noise pollution, light pollution, chemical pollution, fishing, that's gonna have an impact on the local shark population. So I think we gotta think about being good neighbors. I mean, so, Carrie, it, it begs the question here, with sharks being closer to these populated coastlines, does that mean we can expect more shark attacks? That is such a good question, Craig, because the science can be misinterpreted. What this means is that the sharks are closer to shore, and they've always been there. We just didn't know it. So the experts say it's unlikely we're going to see an increase in the number of shark attacks. But beware, there's probably a shark right off here now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Carrie Sanders for us there in the shark infested waters of Monaco by the sea. Thank you, Carrie. I don't think that's what he said. No, that's yeah. not what he said. No. He said no. there could be a shark. He said there might be. be. Yeah. Shark yeah. infested. Yeah. 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 Yeah.